Hey guys, in this video, we want to see how we can use algebra to find the measure of angles formed, you know, from a transversal. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, you can kindly do that. Share my link, make comment on my video, click on the like button, click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you get notified. Thank you. So let's get started. Now, if you look at the problem, there are, there are two problems on the board. And um, so we're going to use everything you've learned in my previous video on corresponding angle, co um, consecutive interior angle, alternate interior angle, you know, alternate exterior angle, vertically opposite angle, straight line angle to solve the two problems on the board. Now, if you look at this, we have, we want to find the angle marked X and Y for the first problem. Now, the first thing we're going to look at, this lines are parallel lines and then this is a transversal and then if you look at the transversal on opposite side of the transversal the relationship is alternate interior angle so alternate interior angles are equal so what that means they are they are congruent what that means is that 4x plus 2 is equal to 78 degrees so i can write that i can write that 4x plus 2 equals 78 degrees now the reason is alternate interior that's the geometric reason alternate interior angle now so i'm going to subtract two from both sides um, so i have 4x equal 78 minus 2 will give me 76 if i divide both sides by 4 so my x value will be um, 74 divided, 76 divided by 4 will give me 19 degrees. So x is 19 degrees. Now, since x is 19 degrees, I want to get y. Now, if you look at this parallel, this line, these are parallel lines. This is under the parallel, uh, under this line. So let's get this angle, so that we can use corresponding to get uh, the angle marked y. So we're, we're going to do. This is a straight line. So to get this, the sum of angle on the straight line is equals to 180 degrees. So what we need to do is to subtract one, um, 78 from 180. That will give us 102. So I have 102 degrees here. Now, so that's that. So this, this is straight line angle to get this. Now to get y, I will do 9y plus 3 because this is... This angle, 102, is at the bottom of this line, and 9y plus 3 is at the bottom of the other line. So the relationship between this and this is that they are, since they are in the same position, they are corresponding, they are congruent, so they are equal. So this is equal to 102 degrees. If I subtract 3 from both sides, I'll get 9y equals 99. So if I divide both sides by 9, my y will be 11. So y will be 11 degrees. So that's x and y. So let's solve the next problem. Now for this problem, now I want to find x, y, and z here. So the first thing I need to do is, oh, I need a clue. Um, this line and this line are parallel. This is at the bottom of this line. And we need to get something at the bottom of this so that it can be corresponding. So what do I do? If I look at this line and this line, this line and this line are parallel. So at the top of this, the second line, I have 106. So at the top of the first line, I'm going to get 106 degrees. The reason is vertically opposite angle. Vertical. Sorry, the reason is corresponding angle. Sorry about that. The reason is corresponding because they are in the same position. So I think they are in the same position, so they are equal. So that means 4x plus 6 will be equal to 106 degrees because they are congruent. This and this are congruent, so they are equal. The reason is corresponding angle. I can write a geometric reason for that, corresponding angles, all right? So now I'll, I can subtract 6 from both sides. Take away 6, take away 6. So 4x will be um, 106 minus 6 will give me 100. If I divide both sides by 4, my x will be... 100 divided by 4 will give me 25 degrees. All right. Now we want to get um, z. 
um, okay, we want to get, we've gotten x now. We want to get y. So to get y, it's very simple to get y because this is on a straight line. The sum of angle on a straight line will give me 180 degrees. So that means this plus this equals 180. Y plus 106 degree equals 180 degrees. The reason is sum of angle on a straight line, on a straight line. All right, so here, to get y, I'll subtract 106 from both sides. 106 from both sides. So y will be 106 minus 106 is zero. So 180 minus 106 will give me 74 degrees. Will give me 74 degrees. All right, so I haven't gotten y. I want to get z, which is the last angle. Now, if I look at this, this has a relationship with this because these lines are parallel. Y is at the bottom of the first line and 2z is at the bottom of the second line. So they have, since they are in the same position, they are a corresponding angle and they are both congruent. Um, so I'm going to say 2z will be equals to 74 degrees. Then I'll divide both sides by 2. So my z will be 74 divided by 2, give me 37 degrees. So that's how to solve um, the problem. So I've been able to get X, Y, Z. So thanks for watching my video. I believe this video will be helpful. Share my link, make comments on my video, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.